Hello class, and welcome back to Blackout Academy. Now, today we are having a discussion on SCP-2571. To some of you, this may sound familiar as the story goes along. If you end up getting that feeling, please report to me after class. We'll have a few things to discuss. Anyway, moving on. SCP-2571. Object class... Euclid. Special containment procedures. A Foundation-operated bot is to monitor online communities for discussions regarding SCP-2571. MTF-57, the laughing stock, is to investigate these discussions and make a determination for the appropriate action on a case-by-case -case basis. Description. SCP-2571 is a reoccurring childhood memory of a non-existent theme park, Craglewood Park. It is estimated that about 0.05% of the world's population is affected by SCP-2571. However, recent evidence suggests this number may be growing. The primary vector for SCP-2571's spread is not yet known. Notably, it appears to be most common among adults raised as an only child. Afflicted subjects are initially responsive to anesthetics, but memories regarding Craglewood will typically resurface once treatment ceases. Although descriptions of these memories vary, several details remain constant. Subjects were between the age of 4 and 12 when they visited the park. The park featured numerous characters, primarily centered around anthropomorphic variants of trees and plants. No adult supervision was present. Calliope music played throughout the park. Subjects attended the park with numerous other children, none of whom they knew. And the park featured only one ride, a carousel or merry-go-round. Addendum 2571-1, Interview Logs. Date, 11-16-2002. Interviewer, Dr. Reiner. Subject, Rupert Ducasso. Begin log. What did you recall about Craglewood Park? Jesus, is that what this is about? It's just the nightmares I used to have. Can you elaborate? I mean, I, I think it's probably based on some actual theme park I went to as a little kid, you know? Probably traumatized the shit out of me. What happens in the nightmare? I enter this theme park. It's like Disneyland, but smaller. There's no rides, just this long, winding road through the woods. Everything's bright and colorful, like in a cartoon. And there's trees all around me, but... Tell me about these trees. They've all got faces, and they're singing. They've got these dopey, cheerful looks, like one of those old-time cartoons, right? And they just sing and laugh and sing. Can you tell me anything else? There's this music that plays everywhere. It's like organ music, but not the kind you hear in a church, more like the, the sort you might hear in a carnival. You mentioned before that there aren't any rides. Uh, no, wait, uh, I'm wrong. There's rides. There's one ride, just, just the one. It's that thing with the horses that go around in circles. You know what I'm talking about? A carousel? Right, that thing. It's where the organ music is coming from. Were you there alone? No, there were other kids with me. They're not happy to be there either. They were all smiling and laughing, but we were just doing it to stop ourselves from crying, you know? To fool the trees. This is, so the trees don't see how scared we are. To keep the trees happy. Keep them happy? Yeah. Is there anything else you can tell us? Uh, fuck, I don't know. I haven't... I haven't dreamed about this place in ages, but I, I think there's one bit near the end. Please, relax. Take as much time as you need. Just as I'm getting ready to leave, I see something. A tiny tree sprouting up near my foot. Just looks up at me. It's, it's it's smiling, smiling with that big, dopey, happy grin. When I see it, that's when I start screaming. 
That's when I wake up. Why does the tree make you scream? Because it had... It had my face. Did you ever ride the carousel? What? Hell no, are you crazy? What happened when you reached it then? Some of the kids got on. Not me though. The ones who did. Some of them were smiling. Some of them were crying. Some of them hugged the ones who didn't get on. Some of them hugged each other. What happened then? They rode the carousel, then we left. What happened to them? How should I know? We left. You left them behind? Yes, we left them behind. What? You think we should have stuck around? See how this would all turn out? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to accuse you of anything. You were just a child. No one would have expected you to. That's right. I was a, I was just a goddamn child in the middle of a goddamn nightmare. And I, I just... I just... You have no idea what, what even talking about this is doing to me. Or how it's making me feel. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to forget it. Why can't you just let us... Let us... I'm sorry, I just... You don't need to apologize, Monsieur Lang. You've clearly gone through something deeply traumatic. I just... I just... I don't understand. I can't imagine you would. Nothing about this experience makes sense. Not that. It isn't that. It's just... What is it? One of the kids... One of the kids that got on... Yes? Why... Why did he hug me? I didn't... I didn't even know who he was! I'd like to ask you about the video cassette. Christ. I... I understand that this is... You people just, just don't get it! I don't want to discuss any of this with you. But I... I shouldn't have told my therapist any of this. That fucking... Bitch. Please, Mr. Blair, I, I just need you to focus. <sighs> Get on with it. This cassette. Where did you get it from? I, I don't know. I, I don't fucking know. I found it in my attic when I was cleaning shit out. I thought it was just an old copy of Ghostbusters or something. Do you recognize any of the images on it? I don't know. Yeah, from nightmares. Bullshit like that. Maybe someone showed me that tape as a kid. Have you lived in this house your whole life? Yeah. You were raised in this house by your parents. Yeah, it's going somewhere? The front bedroom. Look, I don't want to talk about this shit, okay? I understand, but we need to understand what's going on, Mr. Blair. Why is the front bedroom... I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's always just had shit in it, but nobody uses it. That's why I keep it locked, okay? I don't think about it. I understand, Mr. Blair. I just need to ask, are we done? Uh, I just need to ask one more question. Whatever. Mr. Blair, have you always been an only child? Alright, well, um, first off, I need to take a raise of hands to any of you who found the story familiar at all. Any of you? Okay, you two. Uh, I I'm gonna need you to stay a bit after class. We just need to talk about a few things. The rest of you are dismissed.